Welcome to Blender for Blogs. My name is Justin, and this is a video series that is all about how to use Blender to create amazing looking videos for your project, website, or blog. I will use Blender along with other completely open source software, meaning everything is 100% free. In this series, you will learn how to take your original footage like this, cut out everything that you don't want like this, Boop. and then remove your green screen, add a new background, and then reposition yourself in order to show us that lovely, lovely view. That beautiful, peaceful, relaxing, ah. Or maybe you're teaching your audience something really important and want the ability to really hone in and demonstrate all of your teaching points. So in this series, you're, you'll learn how to add words or pictures in order to do just that. And of course, you'll probably want to animate them by making them fly out, or fly in, or creating bulleted lists of all your important things, or other transitions like wiping in or wiping out. Wipe out! And you'll also learn how to make your own motion graphic title, just like the one I started with at the beginning of this video. And who knows, somewhere along the line, you might want to show some awesome footage of your summer vacation. So you'll learn how to cut away to another video like this, and then shrink it down into a picture in picture like this, in case you want to show two things at once. Or maybe you just want to go all out instruction and show your audience exactly what you're doing on your computer step by step. So for this, you'll learn how to record your computer screen and then add it into Blender. And this is really handy for things like PowerPoint presentations, Google searches, or making all kinds of tutorials for your favorite software programs. Like Blender, eh, eh, eh. Ha, just kidding. What I said was, did I make you check your sound? Be honest, you checked your sound, didn't you? We can't forget about sound, so you'll learn how to import an external audio recording into Blender and line it up with the or audio from the original footage, just so that you can have better quality audio. So what's all this going to look like? Well, in order to teach you all of this, I'm actually going to show you step by step how to create this very video that you're watching right now. And as you follow along, you're going to become really familiar with Blender's Video Sequence Editor, or VSE for short. You will learn the best techniques for quickly editing video and audio strips in Blender, cutting them, moving them, snapping them, combining, manipulating them with pinpoint accuracy to the exact frame and timing that you choose. You will also become familiar with how to work around some of Blender's nasty bugs and problems that have the potential to get in the way and slow you down. So we'll cover those as we go. Well, anyway, I hope you're excited. I'm really excited too. So strap on your boots because we're gonna bootstrap this Blender Brother into some video editing goodness. So let's go. Boop. Cut out everything that you don't want like this. Llama. That was weird. Boop. Check, check, check. Boop. Three, two, one. Showtime. Boop. The finer points of your teaching points. I've just blah, blah, blah. Boop. Or maybe you're teaching your some teaching your something. <clears throat> teaching your something. Maybe you're teaching your something. Something you're teaching. Boop. Blah, 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 blah. Boop. And along the way, you're gonna find that Blender does ham have ham does ham. Blender does ham too. Did you know that? <laughs> Let's try that again. 